Okay, this is stage number five. Um, and you have to destroy these things riding on rails that shoot this horrible, super powerful flamethrowers at you. So I got a new weapon, but I never use that one. Still always use the Falcon. Um, anyway, you see that there's one of the guys. I do a lot of damage. So I'm, the thing I'm shooting right here is like a, a stopper thing, like on the end of the rail that the, those guys ride on. Look how much damage that one did. Now watch, when he gets to the end of it, he just falls right off. So I didn't have to do anything. Um, and these searchlights I'm trying to avoid. The, and you can you can kill normal minions too. The searchlights see if you get in them, then they send out these guys that follow behind you. And no matter which way you turn, they stay behind you. So you have to use a, a seeking kind of a weapon to get them, or your your gunship thing can get them. Um, but they just keep on coming out the more you're in the light. Although the light will charge your power because it's considered solar, I guess. Maybe it's not solar power, maybe it's just light power. But. Anyway. Nine more to go. Here is a little healer thing that uses some of your power to restore your health. Um, and just gotta make my way to find more of those guys. Here's another stopper thing that I can use. Oh, and my Falcon's destroyed it this time. Um. Still got eight of them. You see them below me on the radar. And this is like considered by some as the hardest level because there's so many of the guys to get. There's the um, the searchlights that you have to avoid, and the target enemies do so much damage to you and they fire so much at you that. If you are careless, they can kill you really fast. And there they ran into some of the rails missing on some of them. Here's another one that's to the left that I didn't see. And I don't know if I'm gonna, am I gonna... Oh, I bounced off that guy. Um, I decide this one over here is probably the best one to get. And I got it just in time. Avoided those flamethrower ball things. Five more to go, and they're all to the right. Anyway, this is. If you're gonna die on a level, this is the one that you'll most likely die on. This or the, the next one. Um, I like how this, the searchlights can be blocked by the walls and everything, so you can avoid them. There, I was trying to charge up some. And here I'm just going to get healed some more just because of how much damage those target enemies do. And there, I'm getting hit by those magnet things. But it's a good way to charge up your power. It's really the only place on this level you can charge up your power very much. heal again pretty soon too at this rate, jeez. Oh, there's one of those guys down there, I forgot about him. And what, if you get down there, it's um, look how much damage he did. You, you gotta get trapped down there sometimes. If you don't like get out really fast and he's right there firing at you like he was. I don't have much power to heal from either, so I'm gonna stand in here and get some more power first. As long as these still, the guys don't fire at me before I can kill them, then I'm good. That should fire me more if I turn this way, I don't know. And you can't control what targets the Falcons lock on to, so they just kind of are random. They don't always get the closest guy. And sometimes they'll move off of a guy to get another guy that you don't want. Um, they're almost dead. So hopefully I don't run into one of those target enemy guys. Where was that healing thing I saw? Oh, there it is. I got a magnet thing on my back. 
And this one's nice. I can stand here and fire at it, so it's a convenient spot. So, killed off that guy. Two more left. And the two, the two at the end are like right next to each other. See right there on the map. Um, so they will both like kind of double team you. And there, look, I'm almost more than less than half life left again. And I'm out of power on my Falcons, and I got these guys in my back. So it's in a dangerous, tight spot here. That wasn't enough. The Falcon didn't have enough power to kill him off. Gotta wait for it to charge a little bit. And, uh, got him. Good, now I don't have to worry because I'm invincible. Let's get to the enemy. This guy just runs away from you the whole time. You can only hit the guy in the middle. Now, a lot of videos I saw, they use that special power that we got on the... Uh, the tower one, but at, seeing as that's the first time I've ever gotten that one, I don't want to use it. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll use it to show it off sometime. Uh, but anyway, the way I've always beat this guy before was just with the flamethrower. I stopped using the flamethrower partway through the last guy just because I saw it was bouncing off and it didn't seem to do any damage, it just wasted my power. Uh, but I got this guy almost dead now. So I was covering bits and there he goes. And he's escaping once again. And that's the end of part three.